Hello and welcome to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast YouTube edition. This is your host Mikey Stevenson and today I'm going to show you how to tie basic rope access level 1 knots. Now as a rope access instructor myself, I find that this is one of the hardest things for technicians that are just starting out to kind of grasp. Usually tying knots is not something that a lot of people are familiar with and so it usually takes a little bit more time for them to catch on. This video is designed for those individuals going through their level 1 course or people that are interested in doing level 1 that want to learn how to tie knots and be proficient at that. Well let's get started on today's episode of tying level 1 rope access knots. I have a, about a seven foot piece of rope here, all right, and that's what I'm going to be using. You can use cord, you can use anything that you kind of have, even shoelaces, all right. You can do this at home or anywhere to learn your basic knots for rope access level one training. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start this in the middle of the rope, give or take a bit, it doesn't matter, just close enough. And first thing I want to start out with is just getting the fundamental here. So. What I need to do is pick one of these two strands and I need to make a full rotation around the other strand, okay? So I'm gonna take this one here. Now, since I start the bend from the back side, I'm gonna go around from the front and into the back, all right? That'll be one full rotation. Now that automatically gives me that figure eight, okay? Now. This will come into play later on, but for right now, it doesn't really give us any option to do anything with it. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to put the start right in the middle again. And I'm going to bend this in half once more. Now, I have four strands here. Now, before I used only the single strand, we're going to do the exact same thing, except for I'm going to use the loop here. So I'm going to take the loop. I'm going to do one full rotation and as you can see here I'm keeping everything flat flat on my hand and just using this finger here to hold it in place and my thumb I'm going to bend around take the loop and put this in through the back side not twisting anything okay I'm going to hook that there I'm going to pull down on these strands and there I go all right so now I have a figure eight on a bite all right I got a bite of rope here I have five equal strands, so one, two, three, four, and five. I turn it around and it should look exactly the same. Next knot here is the figure nine on a bite. It's pretty much the same thing. Instead of doing one full rotation, I'm gonna do one and a half rotations. Okay, starting in the same spot. Okay, nice and flat on my hand. Got my finger holding it in place. I got four strands. I'm gonna take the bite of rope here. Go around the back side, okay? One full rotation would give me my figure eight. I'm gonna keep going another half a turn and that's gonna go in through the front now. Okay, pull that. There I go. So now that's my figure nine on a bite. The next knot I'm going to do here is the bunny ears or otherwise known as the double figure eight. Okay, so I'm gonna start pretty close to the bottom here because I'm gonna need this extra loop here to make up for the distance. All right, so, okay, I got my four strands. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go around, I'm starting from the back side again. I'm going around, I'm gonna take, use this as my loop. I'm gonna create a loop out of that. So I'm gonna put that in through, okay? There we go. Now from there, I'm gonna take the loop, fold it over top, and just put it right on top here. Hold that down, I'm gonna grab the back end of these, and just pull them through. Tighten that up. Okay, so now, this is my double figure eight, or bunny ears. The most common knot we use in rope access industry is called the Alpine Butterfly. I'm going to show you how to tie it two different ways. Alright, so I got my anchor here, I got my knot that's holding it in place. 
I'm going to take this strand here, I'm going to hold this right where it is, okay, just hold it there. Now from there I'm going to take the tail of the rope, I'm going to make one big loop, alright, so I'm just going to go around, lie it down on the fr uh, front there, I'm going to take the tail here and go around the back side, alright, around the back side. Now this tail will lie in between the vertical section and the loop itself. As this is lying in my palm, I'm going to take the one that's closest to my fingertips, right here, move that into my palm, and then push it through. There we go. So now I have an alpine butterfly. The next way I'm going to show you how to tie this alpine butterfly is the twist method. So, what I'm going to do is just hold this in my hand here. I'm going to take my thumb, point it towards the ground, grab underneath. I'm going to pull this up, lie this on top. I'm going to pinch this X right here. Now from there, what I'm going to do is take my thumb, point it towards the ground again, twist it again. Now I have a figure eight. What I want to do is grab that there. So if I look at it from this side, I have both X's in both hands. So now, I'm going to grab this loop, I'm going around the back side, grab the loop, pull it around, and right where my thumb is, that's where the loop is going to go. Okay, there you go, you can see that feed through. Pull that down, and there's my alpine butterfly. The next knot I'm going to be showing you is the scaffold knot, also commonly known as the barrel knot. So I'm going to just take the end of the rope here. I'm going to feed this through the carabiner. Give myself a decent amount of rope there. Okay, I'm going to pinch this up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and just make a coil around the main strand here with this tail. And then I'm going to maintain that, that upward progression. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to coil upwards. Now, once I get two wraps, I'm going to basically take the tail and push this through this opening right here. Now, to make sure that this is tied properly, I want to make sure that I pull the load strand and this knot should adjust as it does. Next up is the retrace figure eight. I need to start with about a meter of rope from here to here. I'm going to take that tail and do one full rotation around the vertical section. That'll give me that figure eight. Now I need to retrace this to make it more of a functional knot. So I'm going to feed this through here. What I want to do is retrace this knot. So what I'm going to do is there's an obvious side and an unobvious side. What I want to do is move that over, feed this through. So it's like if I'm feeding down here, I'm going all the way in and I'm going to pull this right up to that object. Okay. Now from there, I'm going to just pinch this here, where it is, and wherever this line goes, this rope goes, that's where this tail must follow. I'm going around, up, and through, okay, just holding it in place. Now it just naturally wants to lie right there on top, okay, and then that feeds right into this hole here. Pull that down, pull that down, there you go. Okay, every knot that we tie, we want to make sure we have at least a fist. Ideally, you know, a little bit more than what I have right here, but no less than one full fist. Stopper knots, they're the next up, okay? So we have a barrel knot, a figure eight, and a figure nine. Okay, so the barrel knot, I'm going to just hold in my palm, kind of like a gun, 
all right? And I'm going to make two X's going into my body here, one X, two X. Now on the back side, I'm gonna take this tail and feed it down, through. There we go, there's the barrel knot. Now with a stopper knot, we wanna make sure that we have at least 12 inches or 30 centimeters from the end of the rope. The figure eight, we've done this already. So I'm gonna take this tail, I'm gonna go one full rotation around. Okay, the figure eight. Make sure that we have at least that one foot or 30 centimeters. And last here is the figure nine. So it's gonna be one and a half rotations. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for tuning into this episode. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video if you liked it. Um, and I hope to see you on the next episode.